I was raised down the Louisiana, down on the black bayou. Well, we like our swamps and alligators, love our crawfish too. Got that feeling gumbo running through our veins. It's our feet dancing with you. Hear that fiddle play. We love to hear that Cajun music down at the Sando door. Dancing with our sweetheart and just letting the good times roll. We know it's got first and then our family and friends. It's got them all to explain. It's just a new. Hey guys, we're in the Chapala Basin. We're carl fishing with Kip Bara and his good friend Shannon Kidare. The one and only. The one and Kidare only. In the house. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're having a blast. These guys are catching a bunch of crawfish. We're gonna be here throughout the day with them. Just about everybody yeah. now. Everybody is? Yeah, because the price is so low this year. Like 60 cents for the drops. That's not a good price. Right. Normally it's a dollar fifty for the and drops. And it's too much work to collect them? I mean, why wouldn't well, you catch water. them? The market's flooded oh, okay. this year. The market's flooded, the price is low. But last year it was 175 for the drops. Okay. It's a different year that when that when that as much coverage in the market, depending on how much you have in the market. You know? Right. Too much ain't good. It all depends on the kitch. So, Kip, how many years you been doing this? Well, I'm, uh... 24, no, I'm 57. <laughs> I was doing this. You said at 12 years old. 12 years old, I was running a bull with my daddy. So how is it now compared to back then as far as? A big difference. You would catch way better? Oh, the oh. catch was unbelievable back then. You never fished four or five, you couldn't fish four or five hundred tracks. It was impossible, there was too much cover in the track. Wow. But they done, there's so much people out here now, they, they burn it up, you know? Right. Too many humans, I guess. Back in 1973, that's when that big flood hit, if you remember. That right. big flood. I was 10 years old. And I remember my dad and he was fishing with two of, two of his buddies. And they'd stack all the crawfish in a boat just parked. Right. And somebody had passed and it sunk the boat. Oh. And it was about 20 feet deep. You know, they caught every sack with a pole. What? They found every sack. Back then, oh, in 73. I was a kid, I still remember that. I was 10 years old. So they would snag in the sacks? Yeah, they had a long pole when they, they grabbed everyone. Oh, Caught everyone. Did. 63 sacks. That was crazy. Cool. That's too much money to leave on the bottom, huh? Yeah, back then it was probably 10 cents a pound. That was good money back right. then. Yeah, we used to fish for 20 cents. 20 cents a pound. All number one, big selection. Wow. If they give them away, times have changed. 
three. Now they're shipping the cobras out of state all over the place, you know, it's kind of helping the market. Right. Lucky for that, because uh, you fish for 20 cents again. You don't see that no more, 20 cents. That's not heard of. buy a with me you want one sack i say look they're corn fed now they say well give me two sacks <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time i see people putting corn in there you're telling, you're telling all your secrets yeah uh oh you can't don't tell nobody i'll put corn okay we're gonna keep that quiet <laughs> now i grow my own corn it's not just a regular corn you oh, buy in the store it's a certain sweet yeah corn i grow my own corn are you like cow manure and stuff <laughs> You can't buy this one. No, you can't buy that at the store. I raised my own corn. different runs throughout the basin. How many uh, traps do you have? Uh, you have any idea? Either? I have about 3,000 traps. 3,000 traps. Guys. I don't run them in the same day. I just run them in different days. Right. It'll take me seven days to run them all sometimes. Wow. You run three, 400 a day, you see? Right. In the wintertime, you run them once a week. That's normally how it works. Okay. In the summer, you can run them two, three times a week. Every year is different. But I like to leave them fish long. You know, it's got a crawfish. I got you. I don't fish uh, small stuff. I try to catch the biggest ones I can. Right. You can leave them fish in that. Got a crawfish. They're a month later. Oh, okay. They're a month behind. That's why they're not as big. But about uh, the middle of the next month, we'll be all select straight. Wow. Everything's later this year. I don't know why. Must be the weather. Mother Nature. Run. Run to shoot. Too good with the bird. <laughs> 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 
That was a polish job. You put Clorox on that one. <laughs> Most people that think the, uh, the pond's getting hard and black, they think it's done. But the base in there prime right now. That's the best time right now. I'll be done. Everybody quits eating crawfish because they think the pond is over. Not in the basin. It's different. It's almost year round, right? Yeah. Like you were saying. Huh? It is. When it's a rainy season, we fish year round. But a drought year, it won't happen. Right. It's got to be a wet year. Because the water just stays cool because it's deep. Is that yeah. one of the reasons they it stay cool? Cool. When it gets too hot, it's barren, it's done. You know, heavy rain like we just had in July, August, makes it last longer. Okay. That's why you really need the rain when it's low. When it's high, it's different. Yeah. No good. Right. But a low, when it gets low, big heavy rain prolongs the season. They start selling them about a dozen kit. Yeah, they're getting kind of big now. <laughs> you like crap. <laughs> it's like 10 to the dozen now. <laughs> There's a spot back there to cover to clean it in this. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna get to it later. That's awesome. When I ball in the house, I, I get those. <laughs> the cleanest ones. <laughs> That's the best. Dude, you must be the life of the party when you show up with the prettiest dish and crawfish. Oh, yeah. Like, huh? Oh, yeah. Crab, shrimp, whatever it is. Tip they open the door. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Fish, good stuff. The best that I can find. Louisiana sportsman. Yeah. Live up the land. That's it. When I was a kid, I tried to come to work with my daddy. I hated school. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> and this, is, this is hard work. The days are not always pretty like the day. You come in rain, oh, yeah. Star. The trails don't always just made like this. When I was a kid, I'd go fish in the ditches with some crawfish traps. Like I'd pull like a troll. Like troll right. with a cage. My mom would come get me with the belt. <laughs> I love crawfish. That's awesome. Couldn't get me out of the water. Six foot traps? Yeah. No, no, it's five footers. Those are five footers? I have okay. a few four footers, mostly five. Give me that the best trap. Yeah. I played around with I think I bought some four footers for 30 now. Yeah. When they start dying, you know, they die easy in a four footer. You can't save them. Right. This five footer, most of the time, they'll stick out before they die. That's when the water gets more. shallow, you can have a little bit when of trap you, out When they the stick water. out, you can save them. You see, if you need the water, you can't save them. But when it's clear water, right. and hot, but it's muddy water, it's good. They need to come up, get some air. Yeah, no option. You gotta stick them out when it's like that, but it's too deep right now. Water's too hot. Right. You probably Gosh. funnel, you see they funnel to the deep. Right, as the water's coming when out. When it starts to dry up on the ridges, they funnel to that little sloop. And that's the probably are running crazy in there. So you put just in there. Right now they're pretty spread out. Yeah, you see, it's a more ridge, you see, when it goes down, the water, the land, come by and make some funnel to the deep water. That's when you run heavy. You run crazy sometimes. Like, what's the most pounds you can catch in a oh, trap? I don't see like a sack to the trap. What? Yeah, you don't see that often though, but I've already seen that. The sack to the trap. Cool. A lot of trouble. Yeah. It's better than the trap. Yeah. Yeah. 
saying this is a ridge back here and good deer yeah, hunting? Yeah, there's a hole back here and this is a ridge between two holes. That's right, a deer pass. That's a treated farm right here. Some of them went down all the time. It's real shallow. Right. They had about six holes past them. They had about six to seven in front of them. Right. It's perfect size. Oh, yeah. But I wasn't hunting. I was crow fishing. Yeah. But this is a good spot for deer. Right here. Some big boys and back here. the water's real low. They got trails all over. You got hot trails. Right. You see the mud, wet. Right. So when I hunt, I'll come hunt a place like this, you know. You're in the middle water, of nowhere automatic. back here, so. You always see deer if you come here. Nobody comes back here. No mainland back here when it's low. Hard to get to. How do you get here? In the airboat? Or you? Yeah, I'll come with the airboat so far and I'll just walk the rest. Oh, okay. You can't come too close. You, know, you spook everything out. Right. I got a trail all cut. I walked it and I cut it. It's easier walking. You see, it's hard bottom. Right. Most places you can't walk, even though it's dry, it's salt. But over here, it gets hard. Tried bringing Shannon, but he couldn't walk. Crazy, but I don't hunt no more. Right. I'm so busy fishing and stuff. Oh, you're a busy man. Yeah. I'm too busy. I don't. I burn out on it. I used to have a houseboat on the base and I'd stay hunting every I, day. Yeah? I could see you. You'd probably be sitting at a tree going, man, I could be catching crawfish. Yeah, I crawfish could be hit. grabbing. What the hell with them deer? I'm, I'm wasting oh. th six hours yeah. sitting in this tree. Yeah, the way you ain't going to do this. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much wasted time, bro. Yeah. You, you after the money. The hell with that 12 point. <laughs> Six borders on the side of the boat. Right. Those team, real team. That's odd. Just never see humans. Maybe it's so and don't peaceful know. back here. They're not used to seeing a boat back here. They don't get educated. They're not spooked by humans yeah. or. You know where to go. The deer know where to stay. Where it's safe. Yeah. So is there some dry land somewhere around here where they not at right, right now? now? Where you no, think they right all? Now. Where are they at? On the big river. The big river? Yeah, on the big river it's dry. It's not okay. the only spot. You head towards the river. When it gets low, they come back to the swamp, the bottoms. I got you. I like that. He's got some of the best ball crawfish guys. Y'all gonna have to check his stuff out. Not only does he catch them, he balls them really good. I've eaten, been eating his crawfish for years. He's got his own seasoning, good stuff. I sell, the, I sell the traps. That's the only restaurant around here I sell okay. to. Yep. Go eat at traps and y'all can try some of these, yeah. these basin crawfish. It's fixing to be barrels. Oh yeah? From traps. <laughs> <laughs> now located off of Bru in Broussard off of Highway 90 on Morgan, right at the tracks. Y'all go. We'll try some of that crawfish. Axe for Kip. Axe for Kip. He supplied him. He's the man. I'll run the bar. Control the bar, huh? I'm going to have to go sit and drink with you. When yeah. are you going back? Tonight. Y'all going tonight? Uh, tonight? I don't know. I, I thought you were going to go see John, we're no? We're going, uh, I don't know, John's, I think. No, we're going to see, uh, Garrett. No. Jared, uh, Jared Lane. Jared Lane. Oh, okay. He's been at 92. Yep, 92. So that's probably where oh, I'm going. Okay, shit. That's by the house. Yeah, I'm right there. Come meet us. We'll be over there. That's where we're going to be tonight. Right. Later on. Last night I went to Traps, Route 92, the Corner Bar, and yeah, just watch your head. I might come drink one with you. Yeah, yeah. we're going to be over there later on at uh, 92. Then we're going to get serious. Yeah, we might go to 93 after. <laughs> 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 We like God, we're everywhere. Uh. <laughs> he had a little girl in school, he was right. real young. He had a guy in Catahoula, his name was Ernest Dunnison. He was a bait man. 
but he was all over, you know, riding the roads. His wife was doing all the work, working at the beach shop. Right. So they had a religion class. The little girl, they said, uh, who's everywhere, all over, all the time? The little girl raised her hand, she said, uh, Ernest Melisson. <laughs> <laughs> You have to know this, cat. <laughs> Explain it sits, that. It sits like this. If the turns the ground, you... you let it down about like it. Okay. When the water's muddy, you can let them down more because it won't die. When it's clear, you got to put them straight up. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you'll die. Depending on the water conditions. I got it. So even if it's straight up, is it touching the bottom still? Oh, when yeah. it get under it to come oh, in? Let it touch. You got to make sure it touches. Okay. Touch. It's got to touch. They got to. It's got to touch. You won't catch. They got to crawl in. It's got to touch. Gotta... Water's low, it's easier to fish. You can see your trap, easy to set. You set them by hand. Look how clean these basin crawfish are, guys. Just hold the ship and you're fine. There you go. It slips like me. At least one to do. <laughs> we got a hundred and fifty to run. I don't want to slow y'all out too oh, much. Man, I gotta take a break. I gotta rest for tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, keep going, Ken. That's an keep old going, trap. Okay. Look at the good traps. I gotta put 120 sacks in this boat. Wow. That's a guy that. Hey, can I go? Interviews. <laughs> you gotta put a bikini on. What? And, uh, if you look better than my wife in a bikini, you got the job. <laughs> so I see some of the girls you hang around with. Look at the crawfish in there. Funny. Oh. How do I do that? Do I that's your knees? I said, no, that's the knees. <laughs> 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 Brandy had showed up. <laughs> uh. I sit in front of her, she says, uh, yeah, that's my knock. <laughs> knock skip. I'm, I'm videoing, you're, you're working, you're doing good. I'm just thinking how we're going to split up all the money. You slept the whole way going all the way back. Oh. Well, if it were try, it would be a better one than that. Wow. Crawfish are so thick. Way more crawfish than last year. Yeah.
what happens if you break down out here? We're in the middle of nowhere. Well, I got some climbers. Little screws. They screw in the tree. It's like a little climber. Right. I got a set in my dick. I'll climb the tree as high as I can so I can have service to call in. That's how we got out. What? We called my, one of my buddies and oh. the phone worked way up there. It didn't work down here. So I got them little climbers. You know, you screw in the tree, you can climb like a deer stand. I'll be done. Yeah, that's the only way. That's how you do it. If you ain't got that, you gotta walk out. Mm. And uh, when it's low, low, it's soft. You can't walk. It takes forever, huh? I mean. Over here you can walk, but you can't fish with that boat right here. It's too hard. Hard bottom, they don't run early. Right. But you gotta go in them swamp where it's soft and you can't walk in there. Soft, soft. It's a quick stand. Right. You're going to work to walk out your woods, so you better have some help. Somebody that knows they're going to come get you. Not it's everybody can go in them conditions. Come get me in this swamp. In the airboat condition. Right. It'd take another airboat to get you, and they'd have to know it well, like you, you know, know how to, to get you. back there, you know? Yeah, it's a little tricky with airboat. You're gonna have to break down. I got two batteries. Wow. One don't start it. It's not often that happens, though. Right. But when it happens, you better be prepared. Right. If you screw, you be sleeping back here. That ain't no fun. No. I never did that before. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do it. Right. Hey, mark, mark that tree, we're gonna come back over here. Yeah, we're gonna come <laughs> forward. Yeah. When Kim's not around at the bar. Yeah, he's drinking, he's gonna come quick. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that thing was loaded. Yeah, that's a good one. That was the best one. Yeah. Oh. Nice, huh? Yeah. Uh, we got animals. Huh? The pellets? Yeah. We got animals. We got another bag. Oh, you. Yeah, big white bag? Okay.
guys, we just got back. I want to thank you for taking me, enjoying it. That's one of the best fishermen in the basin. We had a blast on a bunch of crawfish. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Ash Cornette, got your cloudy bed. Sunny Kip's a funny guy. I laughed all day. In fact, he'll be here in a minute to eat with me. Uh, let's go ahead and get this crawfish etouffee going. The party just started now, bro. <laughs> and look at here, we got Shannon in the house. Hey, hello, hello.